Your Singer Overlock Machine can sew a variety of stitches that consist of two threads, three threads, or four threads. Before showing you how to thread your overlock machine, let's take a look at some of the more popular stitches and how they're used. This is the four thread overlock stitch. It consists of an upper looper thread on the top side of the fabric, shown here in red, a lower looper thread on the bottom side of the fabric, shown here in yellow, and two needle threads, shown here in blue and green. This stitch is great for seams on stretch knit fabrics, inserting ribbing, and sewing elastic. It can also be used for seams on light to medium weight woven fabrics. This is the three thread overlock stitch, wide. It consists of an upper looper thread on the top side of the fabric, shown here in red, a lower looper thread on the bottom side of the fabric, shown here in yellow, and only one needle thread, shown here in blue. Notice the needle on the right has been removed and only the left needle is used. This stitch is mainly used for embellished edges, often with a decorative thread in one or both of the loopers. But it can also be used as a seam finish for heavier or thicker fabrics. This is the three thread overlock stitch, Narrow. It consists of an upper looper thread on the top side of the fabric, shown here in red, a lower looper thread on the bottom side of the fabric, shown here in yellow, and only one needle thread shown here in green. Notice the needle on the left has been removed and only the right needle is used. This stitch is most often used for seam finishing to keep raw fabric edges from unraveling while providing a professional appearance. The same is true for hem finishing. This stitch can also be used decoratively, providing an interesting edge finish to all sorts of projects. This is the three thread flat lock stitch, wide. It consists of the upper looper thread, shown here in red, the lower looper thread, shown here in yellow, and one needle thread, shown here in blue. Tensions are adjusted so that you can gently pull the two sides of the fabric so that the stitch will lie flat after sewing. Use this technique to sew flat seams, as well as for decorative applications. This is the three thread rolled hem. It consists of the upper looper thread, the lower looper thread, and one needle thread. To achieve the rolled appearance, the stitch finger lever is moved to the rolled hem position. Also, the stitch length is shortened, and the lower looper tension is tightened. The result is a fine edge on light to medium weight fabrics. It's popular for finishing the edges of napkins, scarves, and much more. This is the two thread over edge stitch. It consists of one needle thread and the lower looper thread. The upper looper is not used and instead has the two thread converter installed so the machine can sew with only two threads. Because only two threads are used, the stitch has less thread, making it a good choice for seam finishing on lightweight fabrics. This is the two thread rolled hem. It consists of one needle thread and the lower looper thread. The upper looper is not used and instead has the two thread converter installed so the machine can sew with only two threads. To achieve the rolled appearance, the stitch finger lever is moved to the rolled hem position. The stitch length is shortened 
and the lower looper tension is tightened. Because only two threads are used, the stitch has less thread, making it a good choice as a fine edge finish for lightweight and sheer fabrics.